Everybody, listen to this right here. Check this out. We are assigned to watch over the souls under our authority and in our city. Our biblical stance, our biblical authority, we sternly oppose the order. Holy cow, that's some Sharia law bullshit. It's what that is right there. This sounds like the Taliban has come to town. But no, that's a group of Lubbock pastors right there who think they have some kind of moral authority over Lubbock. What a crock of shit. First and foremost, you're not paying taxes, so you don't get any right in what the government says. You don't get to speak on behalf of an entire congregation to the government. If you want to do it on your own private time, that's fine. But until the church starts paying taxes, you don't get to tell the government what to do. So the government does not get to tell you what to do, and you do not get to tell them what to do. And trust me, as long as you keep interjecting into government business, I'm going to inject myself in your business. Your opinion really means nothing. Get out there, write it on a collection plate, and shove it up your collective rears. I don't care. And I know this is a bit harsh. But the church was on the wrong side of women's voting. It was on the wrong side of slavery. It was on the wrong side of gay rights. And they came out against Harry Potter. Harry Potter was supposed to turn your kids into little devil worshippers. Kind of didn't happen, did it? These people have been pissing next to you their whole life. You never noticed. You won't notice tomorrow. There's no uh, perverts lurking, waiting for this law to give them an op. Why would they wait for a law to give them an opportunity to molest people? Molesting's already against the law. You're being stupid here. You're letting the government or somebody distract you with this idiotic issue. I mean, go back and watch any of those old biblical movies. There were cross-dressers in those movies. Remember there was that, always that one little counselor to the king who was a dude dressed as a chick or wore mascara and stuff? Then you have our lieutenant governor and our governor to some degree coming out against this stuff. Idiots. They know they're never going to be uh, elected to higher office since Rick Perry couldn't get elected to higher office. So they want to act like they got big balls. Well, Dan Patrick just got his ass eaten alive on Fox News. And when that was done, MSNBC proved he had no idea what he was talking about. Quit letting people distract you with this ignorant issue. Put your politicians on the spot and say, we want to talk about good jobs so we can take care of our families and so we can decide where we want to go to the bathroom. It's that simple. You guys be awesome to each other.